Surrounded by a rising tide of tributes, a grieving family is overcome, struggling to grasp the loss of their son and brother, Jack Davey. This is how they want him remembered, full of joy, ready for another day of school with his mates. But yesterday, that was all cut short. Our thoughts and heartfelt sympathy are with Jack's family and friends, and our thoughts are also with the four students who remain in hospital. Such a sweet boy, um, really kind, never heard a bad thing about him. Just an hour before the bell was to ring, a car performing a U-turn outside Auburn South Primary in Melbourne's eastern suburbs ploughed through the school's fence, fatally striking Jack and seriously injuring four of his classmates. This morning, family members, friends and the school community gathered at the scene, leaving tributes and holding their loved ones closer, all trying to make sense of the tragedy. It's the worst nightmare for parents and families and siblings in a school community that you could possibly imagine. Jack Davey is being remembered as a natural athlete whose talent shone brightly. In July, he was a member of the Australian under-12s futsal team, which clinched victory in Fiji. The sports peak body today paid tribute to a sweet boy always in their hearts. The 11-year-old was also a gifted Aussie rules footballer, known for being calm under pressure and a tough all-rounder with a bright future. His local club, the Glen Iris Gladiators, devastated by his loss. But for Jack Davies' schoolmates, there are some questions their parents just can't answer. They're asking me why, where is boy gone, when he will be back, where is that four kids, when they will be back, what I can say, you know. The driver, a 40-year-old woman from Hawthorne East, was arrested and interviewed, but has since been released. The surviving children remain in hospital in a stable condition as the local community rallies around. This school community is so wonderful and strong. And together we will get through this. I've got little kids. Uh, I can only imagine uh, what it was like to drop Jack off to school and not pick him up. A thought that many will struggle with. Danny Tran, ABC News, Melbourne.